northern Arkansas farmer tells us they're worried about their future after working with the now closed meat distributor Cook's Venture. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Chad Mira. And I'm Chelsea Helms. The company closed in November, and according to Senator Brian King, at least 1 million chickens need to be euthanized as a result. KWA's Kayla Cade actually spoke with the farmer today. What did she tell you, Kayla? Chelsea and Chad, she's concerned about losing her farm after her contract to raise chickens for Cook's Venture was terminated. It's devastating. Um, we owe money on our farm, so I mean, we have to. We're gonna have to figure something else out. After meat distributor Cook's Venture closed, Leslie Harp, a poultry farmer in Clifty, Arkansas, says she needed to find another way to pay the bills. I had to get a second job in order to be able to help keep the lights running because the farm paid for the electric and the water and our insurance. Harp owns Empty Pockets Ranch with her husband. She says Cook's Venture came and euthanized 72,000 baby chickens given to them, but haven't paid the couple for their work. Now we're left with a mess that they left behind and no way to pay our, our note on our farm. According to a letter by the company, it was supposed to remove all birds from farmers' property, but Harp says the euthanized chickens are still in their coops. My husband went in there and covered all of the chickens up in the litter and start and we're rotating the litter over once a week right now to help those chickens decompose in our chicken houses properly like they're supposed to do. The couple is hoping to find another integrator to take on their heritage chicken farm. Otherwise, we'd have to spend two or three hundred thousand dollars to put our chicken houses back the way they were in order to try to get a George's or a Tyson contract. Harp says she wants Cook's Venture to be held accountable. They should never brought me chickens. They, when you bring me birds on the same day you're closing your business down, that just, that's unprofessional. Harp also wishes that Cook's Venture had a different plan for the chickens the couple raised. We could have, you know, looked at seeing if maybe we could have somebody process the birds, donated it to a homeless shelter, donated it to these food banks that are around here that are giving people out food that are struggling to feed their families. Jeff Cooperstein with the University of Arkansas Sam Walton College of Business says to expect a price increase in heritage chickens, but that most people in the area buy broiler chickens. We reached out to Cook's Venture earlier this week and haven't heard back. In studio, Kayla Cade, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. Thanks, Kayla. Now